Welcome virtually to St. Louis, Missouri and St. Louis University for the preview of the Atlantic 10 basketball season here with St. Louis Billikens head coach Lisa Stone. Coach Stone is in her 35th season as a head basketball coach in college basketball, her record 644 and 352, her ninth season at St. Louis University with a record of 141 and 115. And coach, what have you seen so far during camp? Any surprises? Anybody that's a newcomer that we should really keep an eye on? Yeah, well, they're all, they're all the newcomers are, are pretty talented. Uh, Marissa Warren transferred in for us from, from DePaul and crafty guard, really great feel um, and super great on-ball defender. Um, uh, Naya Tong is from Dowling High School in um, Des Moines, Iowa. She's exciting. She's going to be kind of this like our little hidden secret, uh, post player, super sweet, very coachable, high energy post at six, three moves with great energy and her eyes are wide open. She's a sponge and just wants to get better. And, and coach O is working with her every day. And she's going to be a, a just a, an, an unbelievable addition to our post. Natalie McNeil uh, comes from my home state of Wisconsin. And she played in the same, um, AAU program that, uh, um, Miriama played in the Wisconsin Lakers program and um, is is very skilled, very crafty, super strong. Kylie Bess is uh, from Poplar Bluff right down the road. Her her grandfather is the most successful high school coach in the country and the nation. And just you can tell she's a coach's kid. She moves without the ball, she's super coachable. Um, you know, you tell her to be in the gap, she's there. I mean, she just does things that coaches kids do. And Peyton Kennedy, I, I compare her a lot to Olivia Jakabisic of, of back in the day um, with an offensive um, mindset. Peyton is an undersized post. Her hand, she gets her hands on every ball. She can shoot the three. She can guard the post. She's combo inside out. Um, and that freshman class is, is going to be fun to watch and give great contribution um, in this first year. I love my team. I have new additions to my staff. Uh, Brittany Lang, I'm just talking – Sorry, Brian, I'm just going to go right to oh, it. I was going to ask you about Brittany, yeah. as a matter of fact. So tell us about Brittany. Yeah, Brittany Lang, is, is uh, she's been in my chair. She was a head coach for seven years. Um, and she brings a, a dynamic um, that we need. She's a great recruiter, super connected, uh, very polished, very well-spoken, um, defense, offensive-oriented. She is somebody that has watched all of our game film and can add what she sees and bring in that flavor. And then Haley Distelkamp is new to the staff. D2, National Player of the Year, two years in a row. Um, the kid can flat out play. We, I wish we could use her. Um, but she's, uh, she's been a joy. Just comes in, sponge, learn, see what I, she's our GA, um, and uh, be around, around this and the excitement and energy. And then last but not least is Carrie McMahon. I think Carrie is somebody that the fans will remember and know, the headband girl. She doesn't wear a headband right now as my operations, but uh, she is one step ahead of me. I'm sure that doesn't surprise anybody. I, I'm, I'm really glad, of, I'm really happy with where we're at right now. What are we looking at non-conference, do you think? And then tell us about the A-10 and, and what do you think are gonna be the real challenges there? You're gonna be, it's, it's a very tough schedule. Very, very tough schedule. Um, Postseason teams, uh, BCS teams, et cetera. Our conference is going to 18 games and you know, you, you look at teams like VCU as everybody back. Um, Dayton's always very, very good. Uh, Fordham um, uh, is always up in the top in, in, in St. Louis. That Those four are there. But I tell you what, the new coaches in the league, Richmond and Rhode Island, they're, they're, those two teams are – they're not going to be where they were. They're, they're vastly improved. Uh, a lot of that is due to their coaching, their staff, and their recruiting. Um, you just can't count anybody out. I think – I actually think the A-10 is, is up for grabs. I think it's wide open. Our schedule is a little scary for me, but it's okay. To welcome three of the players from the 2021 St. Louis University Billikens. We have three juniors with us. We have Maya Clark, who's from Schaumburg, Illinois, Brooke Flowers from St. Louis, and Mariama smith Traore from Whitewater, Wisconsin. Mariama, we'll start with you. This has been a very unique offseason. Obviously, you guys were playing very well when the season got canceled last year in the tournament. You had a strange offseason, preseason. How is the team dealing with all of that, and how have you looked in camp? I think that everything that we've had to go through actually brought us closer together. Um, we spent a lot of time in quarantine sending videos, 
of ourselves working out and having weekly Zoom meetings um, and just missing each other. So I think being back and um, being together on the court, it just showed um, how much we missed, you know, that connection and how much we missed being together in person. Um, so I feel like coming back in August, we've just been even more competitive, even more together, um, even more vocal because we just miss having that the last, you know, five, some months. And Brooke, what do you see as the team's strengths heading into this upcoming season? Um, I think one of our biggest strengths is our energy and our connection for one another. Um, and I think that continuing that, it will definitely propel us to kind of stay together and stay connected throughout the season. Um, Skill-wise, I think we have a very just balanced team. I think we have somebody for every situation. Um, I think that all of us, we have our individual strengths that make us a really great group when we're all together. So I'm looking forward to the season. And Maya, you are all juniors, the three of you. You have played in the program now for a few years. You've, even though you're junior, you know, usually look to seniors for leadership, but I think this team has a lot of that junior leadership. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, a lot of us, um, we have a lot of leaders on our team. I just feel like everybody has a voice and everybody speaks out for like how they're feeling and especially for how our teammates are feeling as well. And I think that's pretty good because like it doesn't have to just be like one or two people or just the older people speaking up. I think that our whole team has a big voice and kind of just sticking up for each other and just for everybody. So I think it's kind of good that we all got our own voice this year. Cannot wait to see you playing at Chaffetz Arena here coming up on November 25th and thank you for visiting and joining us for SLU's Virtual Media Day. And we'll see you November 25th at the start of the Billiken season.